welcome to your Money Monday. Would you like to have some great economic and real estate market news to help unfreeze all the sellers out there? Hey, I'm Rich Motz. Welcome to Money Monday, session 218. You know that there are sellers out there that want to sell and take advantage of these low interest rates and the premium home prices that they can get for their home right now. But they are just plain old frozen to move because they are scared of the economy. I mean, listen, headlines, you get more attention to headlines that are designed to terrify instead of headlines that are designed to clarify. Today, let's talk about the data points that you need to know as realtors to get your buyers and sellers through these uncertain times of the economy and unemployment. So let's take a look at the complete unemployment numbers. It's showing that there have been 55 million cumulative new filings since the pandemic has started, and there's 16 million currently collecting unemployment. So that sounds pretty scary, but let me show you the real facts of this. First of all, congratulations to the 1.8 million people that got their jobs back last month. Pretty awesome, huh? 592,000 of those were actually in leisure and hospitality. So you're talking a restaurant business and hospitality there. Then retail, 258,000 new jobs came on or got their jobs back, I should say. And then you would actually look at education, 192,000 came in, and professional services, 170,000. Then the government, 301,000. That's pretty awesome stuff, isn't it? So right now, the unemployment rate overall in the United States looks like it went from about 15% in April down to about 10% in July, as you can see right there. However, the core employment, unemployment rate actually was at 10.5% in April and is now down to about 5.7% right now. And what is the core unemployment rate? That is taking the people that are going to get their jobs back out of it. So the temporary people you take out of that and the only people in there that are permanently unemployed and the people that just are not going to look for a job, period. So they have those numbers and it's really only 5.7% unemployment right now. Not nearly as bad as what the headlines say. So this economic downturn is just, it has more depth and less length actually. So if you look at the white line, that is the Great Depression there and that went out 12 years. And then if you look at the blue line here, that is actually the Great Recession, which was from 2006 to 2016. But if you look at this one, this is what they're predicting right now with this pandemic and this uh, actual economic turndown. You're just looking at four years here. So the orange line there is just four years. So it's not as long. So when you look at this slide, you think about you should think about this right now. Where are you going to be in three to five years from now? Are you locking the current low interest rates and making your future very solid and getting in that home appreciation game? Never in history in the last four months have I seen home prices grow so quickly as they have. So real estate is part of the solution, not the problem this time. Take a look at this great chart. It's showing that basically 90% of people are employed and only 10% are unemployed. Then it breaks down the permanent layoffs in orange there compared to the blue layoffs in blue in that graph right there. So you can really take a look at what's really going on out there. This next chart is going to talk about the projections on future home prices. And just a few months ago, Fannie Mae was saying that future home prices are only going to go up 0.4%, 0.4%. Now they're the biggest contenders saying 4.4% home prices are going up. CoreLogic was, you know, down significantly, and now they were like really, really like minus 6%, and now they're at minus 1%. So great turnarounds for some major people right there. Because we all know right now, home has never been more important. And one thing you need to ask all your clients is, are you living in your dream home right now? And if not, what are your plans? 
A lot of these folks, you know, what if they're going to be working in a home environment for who knows how long now? So how will this affect them? Think about that. My buddy just got an email. He works for a major communications company, and the email said that they are planning on keeping them working at home till at least mid-2021. So that could even be longer than that. So here's a great, great chart to think about right now. The people that plan to buy a home due to the remote work ability, 63% of them are saying they want to buy a home due to the remote work ability. So there's more demand out there, folks. Basically, the, the, quarter, the second quarter forecast was delivered in April, and these are the major players that did it. They estimated it's going to be down 30%. Well, they're right. It was down about 32%. They said 30.8% is about 32% was real. But look at what those same people are saying right now. The third quarter is going to be up 15 to 25%. Those same players say it. Then the additional four forecasters say here between almost 17% and 20%, the economy is going to pick up. So what do you think about that? It's pretty crazy. So, Morgan Stanley is actually saying the worst ever gross domestic product reading could turn into the best ever in the third quarter. So that's pretty wild stuff. Consumer spending compared to January of 2020 is only down like 2.5% in Ohio and in the entire country, 6%. Couple quotes here for you right now is Realtor.com says an astonishing rebound. Zellman says, shockingly strong. Data Solutions says, pulled something of a high wire act in the second quarter as far as real estate. Zillow says, they stared the pandemic right in the eye and it hasn't blinked as far as real estate. And Myers Research says, it has been nothing but short of remarkable. So it's pretty cool. The demand from buyers that is out there right now, according to Zellman's broker survey, the demand captured this month's survey can only be described as shockingly strong in spite of COVID-19. So the pandemic has not stopped the consistent price growth, period, that, they've re that we've witnessed in years and years and years. Purchase applications are off the charts ever since, geez, the beginning, middle May, let's say here, through 12 straight weeks of year-over-year -year increases. It's wild. People are applying, applying, applying for loans. Showings in North America, you know, they took a huge dip to this red factor right here, uh, late March through early May, and then boom, we took off here in May, and right now where it even drops a little bit in the green at the end, that's normal for this time of year, so we're super strong. The last thing I want to say, in it's been eight consecutive times this year that mortgage rates have dropped. So it's been great. Uh, eight, eight times this year. And right now, a buyer has 32% more power. So that's pretty wild. So what I really need you all to do is get this news out to your sphere of influence, your past clients, and help unfreeze all those listings that are out there right now. <clears throat> I hope you liked this video, and I beg you to take action and spread the great news. I'm Rich Motts, and I will see you next Monday Monday. Thanks so much, everyone.